When creating a new HTML page, in Dreamweaver, you're going to be presented with the basics of the structure that you need. If you're starting off with a basic text editor, you'll need to enter the basic structure of HTML in order to get started. So if you're in Dreamweaver, you can use the Create New button, or you can go to File New. I recommend you go to File New uh, because it's going to allow you to choose certain settings. It's going to allow you to see uh, this new document uh, set up here. The crucial thing here is that we set the document type to the current standard of HTML, which is HTML5. We're going to leave layout on none and say page type is HTML and go to create. Now this is going to give us the basic structure of HTML that you see here. So at the beginning we have the opening HTML tag and a tag is effectively something inside left and right pointy brackets or chevrons as they're correctly known. So this document type declaration simply tells the browser or whatever piece of software opens this file that they're looking at an HTML document. Then once the HTML page is opened, the head part of the page begins. So in the head, you might see technical information on how to display the page. Uh, a default that you'll see there is untitled document inside the title tags. Now the title is something that appears at the top of your web browser. For example, if I open up a web browser such as Safari, you can see here that apple-start is their title tag for that page. So it doesn't appear on the actual body of the page itself, it's simply there uh, to appear at the top of the browser. So I might put in, for example, Will's site. We'll go back over what you should do with your title tag in more detail uh, in a later video. So you can also see that there's something called meta there. Now metadata uh, is information about the site uh, in order to help display it correctly. So for example, we have um, content type, text HTML, and character set. So that's simply saying display in an English character set and the content of this HTML page is text and HTML. So the head is going to contain quite a lot of different things as time goes on. Uh, you'll add stuff in there to link to style sheets, to link to JavaScript files to make them load in uh, when the page is loaded, um, and things like that. The actual visual part of the page is the body. So if I wanted to write something onto the page itself, You'll notice if I write into the design view, if I change to split and write the classic hello world or world and look back there, you can see it's written it into the body. So when I say into, I'm meaning after the opening body tag and before the closing. So whenever you see uh, a set of tags, invariably there'll be an opening and a closing and the closing has a forward slash next to it like that. So before the same word, a forward slash. You'll see this again if I put in a paragraph and say hi there. You can see that hello world there is inside paragraph and hi there is inside another set of paragraphs. Another thing to understand about HTML or pretty much any kind of coding is there's no such thing as white space. If I press return a whole load of times here and then click back on my design view, design view is showing me that it's not going to move those elements down because the P paragraph tags themselves are actually there to create the structure, create that paragraph um, system. So if you put in lots of spacing in your code, it really doesn't make any difference to the functionality of it. Okay, so that's the basic structure of an HTML page um, in terms of uh, getting it set up. Uh, next thing we'll do is look at writing some simple tags.